Hi everybody, this is Brian Town with Michigan Final Cut Pro and I just wanted to answer a couple quick questions that I ran across in some training sessions that we did this week and it's really about saving your stuff in Final Cut X to an external hard drive. And it's pretty easy to save events to an external hard drive um, because simply if you go up here to your event library you can see that both drives that I have hooked up, of course my Mac HD and also my new G drive, those are both available to me. So any event that I create at this point is going to go into the new G drive because it's highlighted. If I was up here, it would go inside of the Mac HD. Alternatively, so let me just do that real quick. I'm going to click on the new G drive and I'll just drop this down so you can see the events that are here. So what I'll do is I'll go up to file. This is just one way to create one. And I'm going to create a new event. Okay, so I'll go File, New Event, and you'll notice that I have this new tab up here with the star and the purple icon. It says New Event 925-12, and so what I'm going to call this is, this is a test event on GDRAP. So now my event is called, this is a test event on GDRAP. Alternatively, if I wanted to create an event in a different way, I could simply just click on Import Files. And then at this point, I could go ahead and find my files, and I can either add to this event, or I can create a new event, and I can say, well, new event, I want you to go on the G Drive, and I want you, or I want you to go on the Mac HD. Okay? So we were to create an event, so at this point, I would just simply import files and put those on that, inside that current event. Now the question is, where does this go? Well, we know it goes into the G drive, but let me show you on the finder where both of those files are located, both on the hard drive and also on the G drive. So if I just go down to my finder and I go new G drive, as soon as I created my first event, what it created for me was a folder called Final Cut Events. Okay? And so now we're going to look for that event that I just created, and there it is. Okay? Here's the current version .fcp event. So this is where your events are stored on that hard drive. Where they're stored on your computer, if you save them there, are in Mac HD, Users, Home, Movies, could they make it any more complicated? And then find those Final Cut events, and there's all the events that are stored in my Mac HD. Okay, So that's pretty straightforward. Basically, you just click on your Mac HD, click on your G drive or your external drive, and create a new project in both ways that I showed you. Now here's the in interesting thing. Creating projects is just as easy, but one of the things you need to be concerned about is when you create these projects, you want to really think about where you are in your project library. And what I mean by that is that right now, this project um, is located inside of my Mac HD. Okay? So if this project is open, I can still create a new project, but watch what happens. So in my event library, I'm on new G drive. Well, I need a new project. Okay, so I'm just going to go file, new project. You'll notice here that this says this is a test event on G drive. I can choose any project that I want. So remember, this test event on G drive is something that we created and we put it inside of the G drive. But watch what happens when I create a new project. So this will be called test project, and I'll say should be on G Drive. Okay, so we can find that test project. So I'm going to hit OK. What's going to happen then, it's going to go ahead and open up that test project that says should be on G Drive, but let me show you what happens in the Finder. So we go into the Finder, and again, we're going to just go to our G Drive. We're going to go to Final Cut Projects, and we're looking for that Final Cut project that we just created, and remember, we called it should be on the G Drive, but it is not there. And I bet you when we come back to the Mac HD, Users, Home, Movies, and find that Final Cut Projects, I'll bet it's in there. Test Projects should be on G Drive, and there it is. So essentially what we did is we created an event in an external drive, and we created a project that we thought was going to go in the external drive, but it actually went to our hard drive. And this is an issue, especially when you're working on multiple computers. So let me give you just a quick tip. Create your project from the project media browser down here. And so what I'm going to do is come down to the far left and it says project library or hide project library. 
So I'm going to show my project library and I'm going to scroll up and down and what you'll notice is something that's very similar to this up in the left hand side in your events. There's my Mac HD. Here's all my projects that I saved on my Mac HD including the one that says should be on G Drive. But notice what happens when I just close this triangle. There's my new G Drive. So when you create a new project make sure that you are selected on the G Drive. And I think a good way to do that is just go ahead and go back to the library, click on this, reduce the Mac HD, and now no matter what event I'm in, I can be in events up here, if I go new project, I'll call this will be on G Drive. No matter what event that I'm in, that project should be saved inside of Final Cut Projects on the G Drive will be on G Drive. And there it is, and there's the current version. So, there you have it. Just two things. Make sure that you're clicked on the right place up in the event library, and make sure you're clicked on down here so that you can see your entire library, and you can also see what drive that you're actually saving your projects on. Okay? Hope that helped, and again, this is Brian Town with Michigan Final Cut Pro. Have a great day.